ignoring it. Oh, all these cables, Ezra. Especially with um, toilet training, other stuff. Yeah. So notice right here how he's fitting them all into his hands and between his fingers. Yeah. Alistair, look! Look at how many cables he has. Yes. He's got so many cables. He just likes them. He likes the cables. So he likes these wrappers, but only certain wrappers. Yeah. He'll throw away the For Halloween, he like literally would open his candy, throw the candy down, and hold the wrappers. And he kept all of his wrappers inside of his Halloween jacket. So just the opposite of what just every kid would do on Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Pretty cool. I wonder if it's the crinkle. Do you think it's the crinkle? Yeah, he does like the crinkle, yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. You like that one, is it? Is that one approved? Oh, yeah. That one approved. When he was seven months old, seven, eight, nine months old, he could say Baba. And he would ask, he would ask for his bottle. And he'd say Baba. And then he'd say Mama, Dada, and Num Num. And he would actually like use it to communicate. And I remember thinking in that time period, I was like, maybe he doesn't have autism. Cause I was thinking like from the very beginning, three months old, no eye contact forever. It's like maybe he does have autism, you know, cause autism right. runs in our family and stuff. And so I was looking for that, but then it just stopped like in nine months. He just didn't say anything. I just kind of hit that cliff that people talk about, right? Yeah. yeah. And so that was super like heartbreaking because I had my hopes of like, oh, he's gonna be able to communicate. Like, mm -hmm. like, you know, he's gonna be able to communicate verbally and then and then it just stopped. And he really hasn't, other than the one time when he was about five years old and it was really dark, and he came to me and he's just like, mama. Wow. And I was just like a puddle of tears. Yeah, I can <laughs> imagine. it was so meaningful. And I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna get that again. So I'm gonna hold on to this moment. Cause it was, it was so sweet. It was like a little gift. <laughs> Yeah. So I was like, he knows who I am. He knows I'm his mom. Oh, absolutely. Even if he can't say it, so. Absolutely. Really he's, no, he's just worried that someone's going to take him away. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> he's got him well guarded. If you tap one button three times in a row, sometimes you get a big burst. Hold on, let me find one I think you might really like. Help? Help? Help. Oh, he gave it to you. That's open. That's open. Alright, it's totally open now. Here you go. Okay. Yay! Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed seeing some of that footage of Ezra. I just want to provide a little bit more context to this video. As you can see, Ezra's a bright young boy. He absolutely loves cables. What I wanted to point out is with autism, it's interesting to see that there's so many differences, yet there's so many similarities. So some of the obvious differences between Ezra and our boys is he's nonverbal. And you know, with Ian, we thought he was gonna be nonverbal. When he was about two or three years old, he only knew like mama, dada, and cars. Those were the only words he would speak. So. It was kind of interesting to see him develop about four and five. He had a breakthrough, especially with speech therapy. And now we, we can't get him to stop talking, <laughs> which is a great problem to have, right? So that is a, a very big difference. Um, also, none of our kids care about cables or cords or anything like that. They have their own interests and own hobbies. But going along those lines, that's where there's very strong similarities. They have very strong obsessions. And another thing we noticed is the eye contact thing they all have issues with eye contact. I know that's a generalization and some people get mad when we say uh, most people on the spectrum have poor eye contact. We know there's always exceptions, obviously, but I think as a general rule, eye contact issues is a thing in the autism spectrum. Uh, another thing I wanna to mention too is the, the stimming, the hand flapping, things like that. That's common among all of our boys with the, the Andersons and us. And, and our kids. So it's just, we wanted to put out this video just to, to show you that, yeah, there's a lot of differences, but there's also a lot of similarities. And we hope that actually showing these things is helpful to the community because as we've said many times, you know, a word is one word, a picture is worth a thousand words, a video is worth a million words. And seeing things in motion, seeing things in context, we believe is the most helpful way to educate the masses. 
So we hope you found this video helpful. And we also appreciate the Anderson family for giving us permission to uh, record their son and show him to the world. And we thank the Anderson family for all their help and support as well. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.